What's up everybody, my name is Tyler and today I'm going to teach you how to kickflip. To learn this trick you technically only need to know how to ollie, but I recommend knowing how to shove, back 180, front 180, half cab, fakie shove. <laughs> And just those basics. And you should also be pretty comfortable on your board. Be able to roll in, drop in, go down hills, and just feel comfortable on your board. The foot position for this trick is pretty simple. You're gonna want your back foot on the tail with just the heel hanging off. And you're gonna want your front foot slightly below the bolts, angled as you can see but you could put it anywhere that feels comfortable, just around there would be key. Also something to keep in mind, that the lower you put your foot, the faster your flick would be, and the higher you put it, the slower the flick would be. So if you're having trouble with flicking the board, you could put it a little lower and it'll flip a little faster. Now you pop this trick just like you would pop an ollie, but instead of sliding your foot up to the top of your board, you're gonna slide it to the side and out, and you're gonna kick out. And I highly recommend doing this flick motion over and over. You're gonna wanna get this motion down so that whenever you go for a kick flip, you do it every single time. You don't even have to practice it on a board. You can just practice it by dragging your foot on the ground, just flicking out and get that motion down. Also a very common and probably the worst mistake people make for kick flips is flicking down. You do not want to flip down because if you try to off something, you won't be able to catch it. You're never going to get popped. It's just not a good habit to get into and it's very hard to get out of the habit. So just don't do it. Another mistake that a lot of people make is that they put their foot in the middle of the board where they kick straight. You don't want to do that because the tail of the board will fly up like this. And this could end up giving you a pretty bad shinner. You get credit carded. You won't be able to catch the board. It won't look as good. So you're gonna to wanna to practice that flick out and kick out. Make sure to roll your ankle with it. And make sure to flick right after you pop the board. Don't flick too early or it'll look like this and you won't ever get popped. Once you get the flick down, you can practice landing with one foot, but I don't recommend doing this a lot because if you get into the habit, it'll be really hard for you to put the other foot on, commit. So maybe do this a couple times, maybe practice landing with the front foot and the back foot but don't just stay with the back foot. Another mistake that people make a lot is that when they flick, they turn their shoulders. You need to make sure that your shoulders are facing the same way your feet are and keep them straight and make sure not to turn them when you flip. A good way to do this and practice this is by doing a kick flip while holding on to a bar, a railing, a fence. This helps keep your shoulders straight and will help you when you try one on flat. Now, put all these steps together and try it on flat ground and practice it, and you'll learn the kickflip. I hope this video helped you, and if it did, drop a like and comment down other tricks you want me to do a tutorial on.